Hello, my name is Andy Moyle. I am the developer of the Church Admin plugin. Now, if your church is beginning to look at me meeting again physically, you're obviously going to have to put in some social distancing men measures that keep people apart to stop the rate of infection with this COVID-19 pandemic we have. So the Church Admin plugin, among other things, allows you to do service pre-booking so that you can restrict the numbers of people coming to your services and keep people's COVID safe. So if your website looks a little bit like this, the back end of it, it's a WordPress website. You can install Church Admin, which is an amazing, powerful plugin uh, that allows you to do so many things. Over here on the left-hand side, click on Plugins, and then we're going to click on Add New. And over on the right-hand side, we're going to uh, write in Church Admin. Press Enter or Return, and it will look for the plugin. Okay, we're going to install it. So the church admin plugin is based around the address list of your church and from that it's got so many tools for organising church life, communicating church life and so much more. But today we're just looking at service pre-booking. So we've installed, uh, the button then changes to activate. So we click that and that will activate the plugin on the website. Click on that. There we go, we're now activated. Now what happens is you get a couple of menu items that appear. So on the left hand side it says church admin there and right at the top there's one there in the admin area, admin bar area. So we're gonna click on church admin. And on this first screen you see uh, some ways of looking at the address list, but obviously we've got nobody in there because we've just installed. So, but we're more interested in services at the minute. So we're gonna click on services. And uh, there we have your basic service that comes uh, as you install the package. So you can put as many services in as you like, uh, but when you first install, there is one service in there. We need to edit that because at the minute it's on Mondays at 10 a.m. and nobody is allowed to go to it. So that's no good for us. So we're going to click on edit. And there we go. So Sunday service, change it to whatever name you want. Change the service day to the day that you want, the time to the time you want main venue you can have multiple sites with church admin but at the minute let's just keep it to main venue okay it's an active service now we want to add it to the calendar this is the critical thing with service booking that it needs to be in the calendar the plugin needs to know the occurrences of your service so we need to add it to calendar so that box is checked if you click in there you get brings up uh, a calendar drop down we're going to start uh, today which is uh, Sunday uh, the 2nd of August. Uh, so there we go, we click on that. Now, you can have it recurring however you like. Uh, One-off service, you leave it at once, but we're going to make it a weekly service, and uh, we're going to set up a year's worth. So we'll put in 52 in how many times, and the service end time just for the calendar so that it helps it, we're going to pop in 11.30. The maximum attendance for us at the minute, let's say we can have 50 people. And then you just click on Save Service. Okay, there it is. And what that has done is it's set the service up properly. It's also populated the calendar, uh, which you can put on the website if you'd like to put the calendar on the website, but that again will be in another video. But what we're focusing on here is setting up the pre-booking for the services. Now what happens on the screen now is that you have a couple of short codes. Uh, short codes are things that you can put into pages or posts that allow you to show uh, lots of data from the plugin in a secure way. So what we've got here, the one we're interested in, is the pre-booking one. So we're going to select it with our mouse, holding the mouse down, left click, and uh, then we're going to right click and press copy. And now we're going to create a page for the service. So go over to page, Add new pay, add new. Uh, let's give it a title, service pre-booking. And then what we're gonna do is paste it in there. Now, of course you can put in as much information on your page as you would like. Uh, and then we're gonna pop over to publish, click publish. And then we can look at our page by clicking on it. So now what we've got is our service pre-booking and it allows, uh, what it shows you is that naught places out of 50 have booked so far. Uh, somebody coming on the site can choose which service that they want, depending on how many you've put in there, how many it will show. Uh, so they can book the 2nd of August. What they need to do to book in, whoops, that's not very private, is to put their email, their contact number and their name. Now they can book up to 10 places uh, as it comes and then they hit book. It really is as simple as that. 
If you want to know more about using the plugin, there is a manual that you can get. All you need to do, click on Church Admin up here and sign up for news and the free PDF manual by popping your email address in there and clicking news sign up. You can get more details. Thanks for watching.